Survival capsules. Hey, this thing is amazing. Uh, Julian Sharp joins us live uh, from up uh, near the Seattle area with the survival capsule. So, Julian, tell us a little bit about why you guys designed this thing because it it's pretty brilliant once you start breaking it down. Well, uh, initially, um, I was on the on the Oregon coast with my family um, and. Uh, was wondering what I'd do if a tsunami hit. Um, this is this is kind of after the 2004 and before the 2011 event in Japan. And and um, being an aerospace engineer, I thought I might be able to design something. Um, so started scribbling. Um, a local TV station presenter here in Seattle introduced me to Dr. Reddy Bernard, who's the former director of uh, NOAA up here in Seattle, and and um, he gave me some good insight into the uh, tsunami environment and the kind of loads and, and um, velocities expected. And, and uh, then we, um, we, we, we designed what we have today, which is um, uh, one of uh, seven different models, different sizes. It's different sizes. Can you, can you show it to us? Because I'm dying to see on the inside of this thing. Okay. Yep. Um, He's going to take us in. Bear with me. Also, I know this is designed for tsunamis, but I have like a daily freak out based on everything that's happening in 2020. I just want to put this in my living room because it just makes me feel more safe just looking at it. We have a lot of people from the East Coast who are interested in, in using it for hurricanes. Um, lots and lots of different um, requests, but our primary one is uh, natural disasters. So, so this is the, so the two person. I don't know how well you can see it. Oh, we can see it pretty good. So two people fit in there? Yeah, so so this is the original um, two-person, and it's actually designed for the older retired couple in Japan living on the ocean, because in um, it, uh, during Sendai, they, they got um, uh, really badly affected, along with... Um, infants young they, they were mm. kind of the highest highest percentage of society that um died um so it's actually there's a, actually quite a lot of room in here um being a sphere it has a lot of volume that is wild. so um, you, you can see the the seats um have four strap um harness belts um there's a uh, thermal lining to protect you from debris field fires. A lot of people forget about debris field fires. This is one of the benefits of talking to an expert, of course. Um, this is amazing. Yeah, okay, I, unfortunately, we got to go because we had some technical problems. We ran out of time. But if people want more information on this and then the different sizes and all that stuff, where do they need to go? Um, well, we're going to go into production very soon. Um, you can contact us at Survival Capsule survival at, um, slash capsule.com and um, uh, we'll provide some information and let you know when we go into full production. It is brilliant. Thank you very much, Julian. I appreciate it. It's nice to see people, smart people thinking of solutions to big problems. All right, uh, stick around. we got more in the big show coming up, including Teens Tunes. Thanks, Julian. Thank you. Bye.